Hello everyone and welcome to your new uh, module. Uh, my name is David Evans and I'm Professor in Sexualities and Genders, Health and Wellbeing. I'm your module leader uh, as we go through this learning together. Uh, for those of you who are joining us from the postgraduate diploma for health visitors, uh, school nurses and district nurses, then this module is called OMED 1356. And a really big shout out welcome to our brand new students who are joining us for the very first time from the new MSc um, uh, Interprofessional Healthcare Simulation. And I know some of you have come from different parts of the world to be with us on this programme. So welcome indeed to Greenwich. And I hope you're going to enjoy this module uh, as, as we progress through it. Um, we're all meant to give a little introduction about ourselves to say who we are. So I've just mentioned my name is David okay. and I've been the module leader for this particular course now uh, for about five years, I think, and even longer as part of the MA in healthcare practice. So I'm the programme leader for that MA, healthcare practice, and I also run this module for the MSc in advanced clinical practice. So it's run a couple of times a, a year um, across different terms. Uh, yet we're meant to say this little bit about ourselves. So originally when I first left school I started nursing and I did five years um, nurse education, two years in orthopaedics and then general nurse um, education. Then I spent seven years studying to become a Catholic priest. I was ordained and worked in parish life for a few years. Then I just packed my bags one day and I left and I returned to nursing to work on an HIV ward at St Mary's Hospital um, in Paddington here in London. And then I started uh, teaching just seven months later and I've been teaching for 32 years as of um, April 2022. Um, I've had lots of different teaching posts, done a fair bit of research in different ways, different research qualifications, and um, this is where I am now today. In 2014, um, I became a National Teaching Fellow, which is the UK's highest award for excellence in university teaching. Then in 2017, Her Majesty the Queen appointed me as an OBE uh, for services to nursing and to sexual health education. And in 2018, that's when I achieved the professoriate and became a Principal Fellow in the Higher Education Academy. So hopefully I've got a fair bit to contribute to you, but the big important thing about this course is we want you to contribute as well. So share as much or as little as you have with us and you'll see that as I carry on with this presentation. So when it comes to asking who you are, I've got this fantastic new piece of software. It may not be new to the world of those who created it, but it's new to me. And this is what we're going to do on your first day. I'll send you the link for it. And the software is called wonder.me. You don't have to sign up to it. It's just when I send you the link, you'll just have to sign in there. You give your name and answer a quick little question that I've posed as a little question of fun. You'll see that I've created some different zones on here um, for each of you for the various uh, courses that you're on. And then I've just created some uh, uh, some general areas like in the classroom, by the photocopier, um, at the coffee shop and in the dining room. And then there's one zone that says all together. So when you sign in with this wonderful little program, you'll see yourself as a little circle, a little, a little avatar, like you can see me in the middle. And then with your mouse, just drag yourself around to whichever room you're going to. So I'll ask you all to start off by going to your various uh, programs. So for the interprofessional simulation group, if they all go together, all of you who are school nurses or district nurses and health visitors, if there are lots of you, I think there will be for health visitors in particular, then maybe just go into little clusters of five. So when you drag your little avatar across to that zone that says uh, health visitors, you'll land there. And when somebody moves close to you, it forms a little bubble. 
and if you go in about four or five per bubble that would be wonderful and as soon as you're in the bubble your cameras come on so you can all see each other and then I'll shout out to you all and say right move around go meet somebody else so maybe go and stand by the photocopier or go into the queue in the dining room or somewhere so you can all mix the in the, the different groups of you all get to know each other for a few minutes and then when I need to call out to you again I can use this sort of megaphone to call out to you all and say where we're going next which may be to that big group and then I'll explain we're going back on to um, Microsoft Teams okay but this is how we're going to start out and that's going to give you an opportunity to share who you are um, how the module works well uh, you, you, you'll see it's all based on Moodle and some of the sessions are going to be uh, live sessions together and others will be asynchronous learning so there are certain weeks where I'll release the materials on a Monday for that week and you just access those whenever is convenient for you during that week but you'll notice with each of the weekly zones I've put them into little boxes on Moodle so it'll say week one week two week three whatever go into that particular week and all the resources are in one little book on there called the resource book so everything you need for that week is all in there but there's also a discussion zone on each week as well so don't just think of it as you're only doing this course when we actually meet in real time but think about sharing your learning with each other um, as you go along so that's going to be really really important so we've got these three opportunities to share in real time with each other the live teaching sessions then the asynchronous is on the weeks that you it's self-directed and then in our little forum sites for the community of engagement and one of the things that you'll actually be able to do on that is to share with us what's called your KWL, your knowledge, what you already know on the topic that we're studying this week. Now, some of you may have tons of knowledge about this. Some of you might have done uh, various research studies or research programs yourselves already. So that's great. But also there are some who are going to be very, very new to this. So let's take it at everyone's pace, get everyone all on board with this, OK? So no pressure on any of you, just trying to take it all nicely at each other's pace. And it's going to give you an opportunity to get a good overview of different research methods. And some of you will be going on to do more research, so that's great. This will give you what you need to know uh, um, to enable you to go on to your next studies, especially for the students on the MSc in Interprofessional Healthcare Simulation. You're going on to do your, uh, your, your project after this. So this whole research methods course will give you the skills that you need for that particular project. OK, you may be bringing lots of other knowledge with you already, but this is going to teach you what you need to know to be able to do that project. And for those of you who are doing this as the postgraduate diploma, hopefully it's going to give you a great deal of insight into different research methods. So even when you're reading research papers, if they're talking about different types of studies, at least it's going to give you an awareness of what those studies are and what they mean. Um, I mentioned the MA in healthcare practice, that's a top-up MA. So once a person's got a PG dip, that's 120 credits. If they want to, they can go on for a further 60 credits to do the top-up MA. So again, some of you will be doing this thinking, right, this is the only programme I'm doing for this moment in my life. Um, I just need to get as much as I can out of this this module will really help you there. But for those of you who think, oh, maybe I do want to carry on, there is more I'd like to do, at least it's going to give you some insight into a pathway then into the top of MA or into other programmes of study. OK, so use this time, um, especially to share your knowledge with us. Tell us what you already know. Tell us what you want to know and then look back and share with us what you did learn on each of the sessions. And if that reveals that you need to learn more, then please tell me as soon as possible. Because at this university, we've got a really good slogan that says, you said we did. 
So don't wait until the end of the course and say, oh, it didn't really help me. I didn't get as much as I wanted. It's up to you. It's your responsibility to tell me nice and early. And if you say, David, I'd like us to do this, that and the other. If it's at all possible within the programme, then of course I can share that with you. All right. So you say, and I'll see what I can do um, as the best response for whatever it is you're requesting. OK, so that's what we're going to be doing. And when you look at the Moodle site, I'll open it up nice and early. So as you join, as you get linked to uh, the Moodle, when you sign into your portal and it says my learning, you will see that you're linked to this Moodle site and go in and have a look. So there'll be a key resources book and your handbook will be in there and the program uh, uh, for the duration of this module. Everything will be in there and you'll be able to see the various themes that we'll be covering in each of the units as you go through this, uh, this module with us. You'll be able to see those outlines. I mentioned to you that KWL, and that's an, uh, an idea that comes from a really wonderful book. So for any of you who are into teaching or sharing learning with others, I'd really recommend this little book to you, Teaching Backwards by Griffith and Burns. They've got a few abbreviations in there. And the one that I'd mentioned is the KWL. What do you know on each of the weekly units? What do you know about this already? What more do you want to learn? And then reflect back and tell us what you did learn. But there's another important abbreviation they use is K-A-S-H. And that stands for Knowledge, Attitudes, Skills and Habits. So it's not just the knowledge in your head. You might say, oh, I understand lots and lots about quantitative research or qualitative research. It's not just the intellectual knowledge you've got, but sometimes even people's attitudes, especially for some people who are doing um, say the, the, the postgraduate diploma, maybe some of you haven't studied for a few years and possibly you haven't done much about research studies before, except for your bachelor dissertations. So sometimes people start on this course and they may say, I feel a little bit out of my depth with this at the minute, or I'm not looking forward to research methods, or I find research methods boring. And straight away that's reflecting on people's attitudes. And that's really important for us to acknowledge. So it's not just what's going on in your head, but how positive do you feel about actually doing research methods? And if there's any negativity there, how can I or how can we help each other uh, to move through some of that so that we've got positive attitudes to what we're studying? Also then, looking at what skills you've got. So some of you might say, oh, well, I did a literature review on my bachelor degree um, and I haven't really done much about research methods since. So you're not practicing, you're not making a habit, the H. You're not making a regular habit of using those skills. I like the old saying, especially if you use it or lose it. Um, if you're not making a regular habit, it may not uh, stick with you. So let's see what we can do around all that. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you all, especially trying out this new uh, uh, wonder site and see how we all get on with it. It's a much more than ever. Thank you.